1 we write i okay so how do we write 2 in roman numeral so we will be repeating i twice okay similarly for 3 we will be repeating i thrice let us consider another example if for um, 10 we have x okay so for 20 what do we do we will be repeating x twice so we get x and x for 20 suppose for 5 we have v all right so for 10 can i write v v no we can't because for 10 we already have a symbol which is x okay so we can't write v v for 10 next one suppose we have for 50 we have l okay so for 100 can you write l l no we can't because for 100 we already have a symbol which is c so we can't write for 100 l l and suppose for 3 we i have three eyes okay so for 4 can i write 4 times i or if for um, 10 i have x for 20 i have double x so for 40 can i write 4 times x no i can't write 4 times this or 4 times this because these symbols, Roman numeral symbols, cannot be repeated more than three times. So these symbols cannot be repeated more than three times. So writing for four, four times i is not correct. Even for 40, four times x is not correct. If for v, I have five, okay? And I write i before v. So what does this stand for? This actually means I am subtracting value of i from v. So how do I write that? What is value of v? 5. And what is value of i? 1. So I am subtracting. So 5 minus 1 which is 4. So for uh, 4 we write i v. Similarly if I write v i. So what will I get? Here it means that value of i is added to value of v. For example, what is value of v? 5. And what is value of i? 1. So we add the 2, we get 6. So the rule says that if a smaller value symbol is written before a greater value symbol, its value is subtracted. And if a smaller value symbol is written after a bigger value symbol, okay, a symbol which stands for a bigger value, then the values are added and then we get the required answer. The symbols V, L and D cannot be subtracted from any symbol of a greater value. And suppose I have X. Okay, and if I add I, I, X. So according to the previous rule which we studied, value of i is subtracted from the value of x. So we get 8 which is absolutely wrong. So we cannot subtract any symbol more than one from another symbol. So suppose v. Okay, so v stands for 5. And if I put a bar over v, this value gets multiplied with 1000. Okay, and we get the answer as 5000. Similarly, if I write x, x value is 10. So, if I write x bar, I get 10,000. If a bar is put over any symbol, okay, that value is multiplied with 1000. So, its value increases 1000 times. First question we have number as 30. Okay, now best way to convert into Roman numerals is write those numbers into expanded form. So what will be expanded form of 13? An expanded form of 13 will be 10 plus 3. Okay, now what will be the value of 10? So we know value of 10 is simply x. Alright, 
and value of 3 in Roman numeral. So it will be 3 times i. So my actual answer is x i i i. So x triple i is for 13. Similarly for the second one which is 14. It will be 10 plus 4. So for 10 we have x. For 4 I have i v. Okay. So i v. So my number is actually x i v. And third question is 18. So how do we write that? 10 plus 8. So for 10 I have x, for 8 I have v, i, i, i. Okay, so my number is x, v, i, i, i. Next, I have 26, which is 20 plus 6. So for 20 I have double x and for 6 I have v, i. Okay. So, I have x, x, v, i for 26. Fifth, which is 39. And so for 39, I have 30 plus 9. And for 30, I have triple x. And for 9, I have i, x. Okay. So, my answer is actually x, 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 i, x. For 39. Similarly, for 6th one, which is 42, I can write that as 40 plus 2. Now, for 40, I have L and X is subtracted from 50. So, it becomes 40. So, XL and then for 2, I have 2I. So, I will get as X, L, I and I. So, this is for 42. Seventh question which is 61. Okay, so how do I write? 60 plus 1. Okay, so this becomes 60 for 60. What do we write? We have 50 and then plus 10. So LX and for 1 I have I. So LXI is for 61. Similarly, for 8th one, it's 545. So, we write the expanded form as 500 plus 40 plus 5. So, for 500, we have we have L, C, D or M. Which one? So, L is for 50, C is for 100, D is for 500, M is for 1000. So, we will be writing D. For 40, we will be writing XL. And for 5, we'll be writing V. So, my answer is D, X, L, V for 545. Now, ninth one is 270. So, which is 200 plus 10 plus 7. So, this becomes 200. For 200, what do we have? For 100 C and for 200 double C. Similarly, for 10, we I have x and for 7, I have v, i, i. Okay. So, here I get answer as c, c, x, v, i, i. Next, for 10th one, I have 2018. So, which is 2000 plus 10 plus 8. So, for 2000, I can write M, M. Okay. For 10, I can write X. And for 8, I can write V, triple I. So, I get as M, M, X, V, I, I, and I. The first one is, it's V, double I. Now, as we know, V stands for 5. And I, I stands for 1 and 1. So we add, since I is written after V. So we add the 2 and we get as 7. Similarly, for the second one, I have triple X, I, V. So all these X, triple X will stand for 30. 
okay and iv will stand for 4 so this we add and we get this as 34 similarly third one okay so we have triple x vii okay so triple x will stand for 30 and this stands for 7 so my value is actually 37 fourth one which is x l triple i so now xl will stand for 40 and this stands for 3 so it will be 43 next one is fifth one which is x l v triple i so i have x l as 40 and v as v triple i as 8 so we have 48 next is l double i so l i and i so l is for 50 and plus 2 i so i will get answer as 52 And the last one is 10th one which is M C C X C V triple I. Okay, so how do we write this as for M I have 1000, for C C I have 100 and 100. Okay, so 200, for X C I have 100 minus 10, so this is. 90 okay and for v triple i i have v triple i so which is 8 okay so my final answer is 1298